In this video I will show you how to enable depth of field in Octane in 3ds Max. So here we have a simple scene which is only lit by HDRI. If I open the render viewport, you can see the scene. All right. Let's create an acting camera and put it somewhere around here. Let's dock the camera in this viewport and change some parameters. I would crank the exposure up to 3, the highlight compression to 1, and I usually change the response to sRGB and use my own LUTs. Let's decrease the strength to something like 0.3 and I will decrease the FOV so we can see the objects better. Okay, how we can enable depth of field? By enabling the use f-stop, we will enable the depth of field. And right now, we see nothing because we are out of focus. There are three ways we can change the focus. The first one is using our focal depths, which you can measure the distance between the object and the camera. For example, this object to the camera is somewhere around 170 centimeters. So let's grab the camera and I will like the camera in this viewport and change the focal depth to 170. Right now the focus is on this object. All right, let's grab the camera. You can also change the focal depths by using the focus speaker in Octane viewport. And if I click on objects, you can see the focal depths is changing. If I grab this one, it will automatically change the focal depths. Another way is using autofocus, which will automatically focus on objects and the Octane decides by itself. And the last one is using target focus, which relies on camera target. If I change the camera target, the focus will be changed. Right now is on this object. how we can change the strength of the depth of field. By changing the f-sub number, you can increase or decrease the effect. If I decrease the number to something like 0.5, it will increase the effect, and it works like real-life camera. And if I increase it to something like 20, it will decrease the effect. And that's how you can enable depth of field in Octane in 3ds Max. If this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.